In this video, we want to see how to convert text dates or dates with year, month, day into proper serial number dates. And we're going to see how to do it with worksheet formulas, text to columns, and Power Query. Now, if we have year, month, day, and we want to do it with a worksheet formula, we get to use the text function. There's the value, comma, and we have to use a custom number format in double quotes. And watch this. We're going to use social security type number formatting. So I'm going to put four zeros, a dash, zero, zero, dash, zero, zero. In double quotes, close parentheses. And when I control enter, of course, this is a text value because that's the text function. And any text dates can be converted to proper serial number dates by using a math operation that doesn't change the value. So F2, I'm going to use plus 0. And when I Control Enter, there's our serial number date. Now all we have to do is apply some date number formatting. Double click and send it down, and there are our dates. Now if you have a column and you want to just convert them in place, we can use data over to Data Tools, Text to Columns. Now the amazing thing is there's three steps here. And by default, the third step automatically takes dates like this and converts them to proper dates. So once we get to this dialog box, all we have to do is click Finish. And just like that, there are our serial number dates. Now I'm going to Control Z because this is something I do all the time. And it pays to know the keyboard shortcut. Alt, A for data, E for text to columns. And there it is, that underlying F. All I have to do is tap F. Now watch this. I'm going to do it high speed. Alt, A, E, F. And bam, there it is. Now if we have this form, Alt, A, E, but we do have to go through to the next step. That one's fine. And the last step, here we have to select year, month, day. Not only that, but if you don't want to keep them in the same location, we can change the location, which we'll do here. I'll say H5, Finish. And there are the dates. For Power Query, we select our Excel table. Really, for Power Query, we might have external data coming through and need to do this. But we'll bring this table in, Get and Transform from Table. Now the first thing I want to do is get rid of this step, so I'm going to X that out. And for these dates, all we have to do is click the Data Type icon and select Date. And instantly, they're converted to our serial number dates. In addition, if we're given year, month, day in this form and their text values, we can use the same trick. We just go to Date. However, if you're given this form as a number, you first have to convert it to text. Then you have to add a new step to convert it to a date data type. So when I click Date, it wants to ask us, do we want to add a new step? And yes, because we need the text step to remain. Add a new step. There's the step. There's our dates. And of course, close and load, close and load to. Table existing, click OK. And there you go. Worksheet formulas, text to columns, Power Query. Oh, so much fun in Excel converting text dates or dates in the format you don't want into proper serial number dates. Bam, there you go. All right, we'll see you next video.